It's a graduating class on the path for a stellar future. On Friday, 13 men and women celebrated their completion of NASA's Artemis astronaut training program and are now candidates for future missions, which could include a trip to the moon and possibly the planet Mars. We spoke with one of the recent graduates about the journey he just completed and about the amazing ones that could lie ahead. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. In 1969, astronaut Neil Armstrong captivated the world, making history as the first human to step foot on the lunar surface. More than a half century later, NASA graduated the newest class of astronauts at the Johnson Space Center in Houston. Without further ado, let's welcome the world's newest astronauts to the stage. Rajachari was one of 13 candidates chosen out of a record-setting 18,000 applicants to join the ranks as a NASA astronaut. Honestly, I was wondering if maybe it was a prank call. I, uh, you know, people think I'm being humble when I, when I say I didn't expect to be called, but I honestly did not expect to be called. Chari's class is the first to graduate under the Artemis program. With Artemis, uh, the whole plan is to have a sustainable infrastructure and to use the moon as a proving ground to go to Mars and beyond. The hope is to send the next man and first woman to the moon by 2024. This would be the first manned mission to the moon since the 1970s. And if all systems are go, the astronauts will be able to stay on the moon's surface for extended periods of time, pushing the limits of human exploration. That's, I think, what's most exciting to me is it's the idea of developing technology and, and, honestly, things we don't even know about. Uh, most of the discoveries on the space station and from Apollo are not things that the scientists originally expected. Some of the most brilliant things in terms of, you know, modern computing and stuff like that are, are things no one really anticipated. They just fell out of, out of that effort. And so when you put American ingenuity and resources into that goal, I think we'll be amazed uh, 20 years from now the things that fall out of that. And I love seeing from one of the astronauts, it was a book report on space that got her interested in going. Book reports, a good thing. I love yeah. how Raj said he thought it was a prank call. Right. <laughs>